What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing this puppy right here, the Yeti Caster from Blue. And we're also going to set it up and we're going to get some sound bites from the actual microphone and we're going to compare it to the microphone that I'm using for my Canon M50. So let's go. So here we have the box. Let's make sure that we open the box up so that we can see what's inside here. Let's start off with, let's see, let's grab the microphone and pull it out of the styrofoam, pull it out of this plastic and get it on my hands. Great feel, looks fantastic. I love this black finish. Let me just make sure this is in focus. There we go, look how beautiful that is. Beautiful piece of hardware again. Now let's sit this down here and what do we grab next? We are going to grab the shock mount here. Let's also get this out of the wrapper. Take a quick look at this. This is probably done in an aluminum finish. Uh, great quality. Now let's, what's in here? This looks like the clamp. So let's make sure we pull that out of the styrofoam. Get it out of this wrap. And you know, it's not much to it. This is actually made of plastic, so not as great quality and feel as the other parts that we just unboxed. And next, let's just go ahead and quickly grab this USB-C to micro USB cable. This is what connects from the back of your computer to your microphone. And finally, we are going to grab this boom arm and let's make sure that we carefully take this plastic off here, not rip it. Here we are, let's give this a quick twist. Oh, uh, it's pretty strong, a lot of tension. I know you can play around with the settings, moving around some stuff and changing the settings. Here we can see it's from blue as well as here. This is what connects to the clamp. And once again, very strong. Let's make sure we put this down and, and let's go ahead and start the installation process. All right, so we're gonna start with the arm here. I have the arm in my hands. And as you can see here, this arm folds and flexes. So this ties to the bottom here which is set up with this, which is what actually ties into your desk or your table. As you can see here, you have these wheels that just turn and adds or removes pressure from whatever surface you want to attach this to. So what we're gonna do is basically go through the setup here for everything that I have here. So we're going to mount this here to the corner to begin with. And as you can see, I'm just going to turn this until it tightens up. There you have it, it's tightened. And now we have the arm here, which we can play with here, as you can see. And there are these clips on the top. I'm not sure if you can get a, a, a view for them. I used a screwdriver to clip them open. That's used for you to put the USB cable connection and try to hide it as best as possible behind the tubing so that you can connect it to your computer without having too much wires being visible. This right here is the mount for the vibrations. Let me make sure that that's in focus. And what we're going to do is, this is the first thing that we're going to set up. We're going to screw this in right here. Make sure this is threaded, there we go. Just give that a twirl. <laughs> and then we have this little thing here. As you can see, it mounts to here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we have that mounted. We can see that it's stabilized. And then as I mentioned, we have the cable here. So what we can do is hook that up to the 
micro USB connection that we have. And then we can set the wires to be hidden. Put that in there and clip. I hope you can get the audio of this clipping. There you go. And there you have it. We have the setup. I can set this up however I want. And we can play around with the tension. If you want this out of view, if you want the microphone up here, you can't do that too if you don't necessarily want to have it as having that podcast sort of look where you have the microphone in your face. If you want to just have it over you like a boom mic, then you can do that. So what we're going to do is now connect this USB cable to my computer. I have preloaded Audition on my iMac so that we can get audio recorded. And we're going to be recording from the Yeti uh, as well as my Canon M50's audio. And we're going to try to compare the two quickly and see how that differs uh, to see if we get a cleaner audio out of this versus the video micro. And that's basically going to be it. So let's go ahead and connect this. Here we can see that my computer has picked up the uh, microphone in Audition and it's asking me if I want to set it up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Give this a name, call it voice, over, click OK. And here we have the record audio and I'm going to start recording from both microphones. So I will change the audio back and forth between, like I said, the M50's audio versus the Yeti microphone audio to see which one is clear or if they're pretty much equivalent. So now we are recording on both microphones, the video micro as well as the Yeti microphone. And I don't know if there's going to be a difference in the audio, but I'm hoping there is. I invested some money to buy this Yeti microphone, which should be better than the Rode Video Micro that I am using on my M50. And so I hope that the audio is better, but this should be a test going back and forth between the two. And one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. All right. So basically that is the test. I will end the recording here and we're going to go into the end of the video. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. We have gone through the entire setup and I'm hoping that you found some value in the video. If you did, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, as well as liking the video. Sharing the video helps also. If you're not new to the channel and you're already subscribed, please consider hitting the notification bell so that it helps the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.